previously on the bill. You've been requested for a job. We want you to go undercover. Terry, this is a very important operation. If you have any doubts, you have a choice. You don't have to do this. Tell him I'll do it. Welcome to his end, Nick. We've got you listed here as a vulnerable. That's right, I'm going to be put on a Rule 45 wing. Right, you know the drill. Kit off, fold it up neatly and put it on the bench. I'm starving, is anything to eat? As soon as we've finished the search and the paperwork. Mr. Marsh, can you do the honours? Yeah. I knew you. Now you must be mistaken, mate. It's DC Perkins. You helped my sister Angela when she was being stalked. What is this, a wind-up? Shut up, shut up. Problem? No. <laughs> You're breaking my arm! Keep still, for mm? All right, all right, all right. Bring him on. What did prisoner thought pet you he for? He called me a filthy nonce. Oh, that's what you are. A convicted paedophile. Well, Thorpe, hardly what I'd call a good start. No, sir. What's it about? I'd rather not say, sir. If you'd send in prison officer Marsh. What went wrong? Marsh recognised me. I met him about a year ago. His sister was being stalked. I put the geezer away. Shut the door. Sorry about that, mate. I couldn't let you blow my cover. DC Perkins is here on an investigation. I realised that when Mr. Hart called you Thorpe. Look, it's vital you keep this to yourself. Only three people know. You can't let any of your colleagues know. I won't say a word. Well, yeah. you better not. Otherwise, they'll be carrying me out of here in a box. What's happened with the vehicle, Les? I'm still waiting on forensics to get back to me, sir. Well, keep me up to date. Sir. Unless it's vital. Sorry, sir. Um, you know the prisoner you wanted me to check up on? Brian Thorpe. Thank you, ma'am. In here. Uh, a prison officer called Guy Marsh has recognised him. Terry was meant to check through the prisoners and the staff. Yes, but he wouldn't necessarily recognise the name. He dealt with Marsh's sister when she was being stalked. If this Marsh is the present official we're after. Terry's in grave danger. Yeah. Let's get over to the informant. Three days confinement doesn't sound much. He's the type that cares. What happens now? Good idea. We don't let cons get away with assault. Yeah, well, you make sure it looks real. Mr. Hart will see to that. <laughs> Can you let me die in peace? It's vital that we speak to you. There's been a development. I want Father Emery to stay. Your friend Charles Maudsley, did he ever talk about a guy Marsh? No. I never heard of Marsh. And in all the years you knew him, he never mentioned a guy? No, I can recall. I'm good on names. Take your time, try and think. All I know is one of Morse's old paedophile rings, a prison officer. He's looking after him on the inside. <laughs> Let me guess. Five days. Three. The governor's a joke. You're looking pleased with yourself, though. In you go. You touch me. I'm straight on to my brief. We love troublemakers here. 
Step out of line once more, and to say I'll have you is something of an understatement. Have you got that? Yes. You've got three days to think about it. Maudsley didn't give you any clue as to which prison officer he had in his pocket. You don't know what you're dealing with. Maudsley don't give anything away. All he said was, him, the prison officer, lured the two boys to the caravan where they raped and killed them. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. I don't have to. I'm not under arrest. The only reason you're not being charged with serious sexual offences is because you won't live long enough to face a court. <sighs> Mostly might not concern like the perfect English gent. He's 100% evil. And what if he found out who DC Perkins was? He's a dead man. Now I know what climbing the walls means. Before we go out on the wing, if I can't mention this to any of my colleagues, that means you'll have to remember the staff. We think a prison officer is involved. The way you help my sister, I owe you. If there's any way I can help. Any of your colleagues start asking questions, you let me know. What's your cover? The real Brian Thorpe's a convicted PFR, finishing a 15-year sentence in Morton Prison. He agreed to cooperate. And you've taken him out of the system? I got transferred here, using his identity and his prison record. That's an awful lot of trouble to go to, to nick a prison officer. This is a murder investigation. One of your Rule 45 prisoners, Charles Morsley. Oh, might have known. We suspect that nine years ago, Morsley lured two boys to a caravan where he raped and murdered them. Don't surprise me. That's why you've got to watch your back. The source tells us he still has the caravan the boys were killed in. I need to get close to him. I need to find out where that caravan is. Charles Maudsley, Matty Wilding. So what? I run this wing. Any problems with that? Look, mate, I don't want any grief. I'm out of here in three weeks, all right? Now, I hear on the grapevine that you were liking for young boys. And? And I partake in the hobby, too. It pays to stick together. You stay out of my way, and I'll stay out of yours. And we'll get along fine. Let's wait and see. All right. Food always is bad, is it? Well, at least it was hot today. The cans in the kitchen, like I said, they're over lukewarm. This is Perv's wing. Same as my old Nick. Brian Thorpe. Thorpe. Roy Stafford. He fancies himself, doesn't he? Stay clear, he tells you. Thorpe, you start work at 1300 hours. Report to the office, you're on cleaning duty. You two welding. The rest of you report to the laundry. So he's going to be helpful. Hart leaves us to it. Unofficially, Maudsley and his mob are on the wing. But the one to watch out for is Wilding. He settled the scores with a blade. Thanks for the nod. All right. Off the boat. Thorpe. Good to meet you. Do me a favour, will you? You want to watch it, Thorpe. You'll get a good kick in. We had one of those at our last nick. He had Velcro trainers because he couldn't tie his laces. Yeah. 
The lovely Dobbo saw a kid playing with a frisbee, so he caved his head in. That's an insult, putting us in with the psychos. Well, at least we know how to show a kid a good sign. There have been no problems since prison officer Marsh recognised him. How long has Marsh worked on the Rule 45 wing? Oh, about three months. He didn't ask for the post. I happen to think he was suitable. Well, he checks out. Um, has there been any rumour of any sort? Only that he's a happily married family man. Now, as trainee psychotherapist, do you know what's involved? Well, I work in CSU, and I have experience in counselling, which is why D.C. Perkins got me for the job. Ah, to be frank now. You know what to say? Yes. Come in. Frank Kirbishley, Assistant Governor. This is Mrs. Ease, our new trainee psychotherapist. Welcome on board. I'm very, very grateful for the opportunity. Thank you. Not me off to get students and help out. Shame it's not more than one day a week. Uh, now, before we go on the wing, uh, try not to give away any personal details. S such as? Well, family name, where you live, attend college. I mean, you're dealing with clever, manipulative people. If you've got anything on you, they won't hesitate to use it. So you done Bird in Walton? Well, you must be living up north then. That's right. Well, I've met the occasional scouser inside. Who's the top boy in the wing? What is this? You asked me where I did my time, what boozer I use, where I was on remand. I'm just making conversation. I'll tell you what, just in case it's too hard for you to remember, I'll go and tell him myself. OK, cut the crap. What is it you want to know? I don't like the way you just spoke to me. You tell your boy to back off or someone's going to get hurt. All right, Matty. No need for unpleasantness. I did 8 of a 15 stretch at Walton Prison. Sexual abuse of young boys. Mm, that's quite a sentence. Sounds serious. We know what judges are like. Betrayal of trust. I was in charge of an under-12 football team. <laughs> and you did most of the scoring. Is there anything else you want to know while I'm here? Yes, why do they send you to this, Nick? This isn't just a place for long-termers, you know. It's also a Nick for cons about to be released. Well, we were just making sure you're one of us. You seem to do all right for yourself. <sighs> you want a treat? Transcript of my trial. The victim statements make very interesting reading. You've got a couple of loggers to go with this, have you? No. But uh, should you want a gram of skunk or magazines of a particular nature, let me know. I might take you up on that. Excuse me. First year was okay. I did all right in my exams. Are you looking to specialise in? Um, not entirely sure, but um, the prospect of working with sex offenders does appeal, thank you. Well, oh, psychologically it can take its toll. Oh, I'm sure. Well, I do love a challenge. Well, don't go to ears, something as paedophiles, the very nature of their offence means that they're secretive and skilled at being deceptive. Adept at being able to tell counsellors exactly what they want to hear. Knowing that a high proportion will re-offend can uh, lead to disillusionment. Oh, gosh. Looks a bit intimidating. It's not as grim as it looks. Take a wander about. OK. Respect you more if you introduce yourself. Right. I've got a load more in me cell. I've even got an Apollo 11 rocket. Why don't I come and see it later? No, no, I'll, I'll go and get it. Hiya. I'll be helping out Mr. Kirbishley for the next couple of days. You heard about Marsh? I checked, but there's no link to Maudsley. Maudsley's cell is five-star. He doesn't work. He's offered me skunk and child porn. Have you any idea who the prison officer is? Hart. He runs the wing. Check him out. I'll be here for the next few weeks if you want to chat. you think Terry's sticking his neck out? I think it looks like that, yeah. I mean, it's a big result, you know. 
Maudsley's serving. 